The 11th Amendment was adopted in reaction to a United States Supreme Court decision allowing South Carolina citizens to sue the state of Georgia. The amendment closes the federal courts to lawsuits against a state by citizens of another state or a foreign country. It also bars federal suits against a state by its own citizens. In Edelman v. Jordan, the Supreme Court considered how the 11th Amendment applied when an Illinois citizen challenged his state's administration of a welfare program. The Illinois Department of Public Aid, which we'll call the Department, administered a program called Aid to the Aged, Blind, or Disabled, known as AABD. State and federal money funded the program, and the Federal Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, known as HEW, issued regulations setting time standards for processing applications and paying benefits. John Jordan, who received AABD benefits, sued Edward Weaver, the department's then director, in federal district court. Jordan alleged that the department failed to administer benefits in accordance with the HEW regulations in violation of federal law and the 14th Amendment. Jordan complained that the department took too long to approve applications and begin benefit payments, resulting in benefits being wrongfully withheld. Jordan sought to certify a class and requested a permanent injunction ordering the department to pay the class members all benefits they should have received. The district court granted a permanent injunction, ordering the department to comply with the federal regulations. The court also ordered the department to pay all AABD applicants any benefits wrongfully withheld from the date the federal regulations issued to the date of the injunction. Weaver appealed to the Seventh Circuit, arguing that the 11th Amendment barred the award of retroactive benefits. The appellate court affirmed. Joel Edelman, Weaver's successor, petitioned the United States Supreme Court for review. The Supreme Court granted cert.